All right, so we're gonna give success a try on some Johnny 2700 KV motors. But before I do that, I need to retune the quad with the new firmware from Falco X. So just updated the tune a little bit with the new firmware and now I'm going to try out this 6S 1000 milliamp battery that weighs exactly the same as all of my other 4S batteries. So we'll give it a try. I'm probably going to bring throttle down a bit. I'll give you guys a quick recap and show you some of the flight footage and hopefully nothing explodes. And let's give it a go. Alright, so I'm re-recording this audio because the audio from when I was flying it didn't turn out so well since there was so much wind. So yeah, I set the throttle, max throttle in Falco X to 65%. And right off the bat, I could feel maybe a little bit more low end torque. I'm assuming that's partially because it's colder outside and so the 4S just isn't doing as great of a job in coming back up in voltage. Whereas the 6S is doing just fine. It also might be in part because the battery that I'm using is a brand new battery. So yeah, the tune feels almost identical. It does feel slightly different. The rolls and some of the uh, flips feel ever so slightly different, but all in all, I mean, it feels pretty much the same. So I just kept doing a couple tricks here, just checking out prop washing and if there was anything major. And for the most part, it felt pretty good. Um, in a second here, I'll be testing out the high end. Yep, so right there, I went up to the high end just to check that out. And it pretty much feels the same at 65%. I think if I upped it any higher, maybe closer to 70%, I would have gotten a little bit more top end. But I would say to make it more similar to being a 4S rig, leaving it at that 65% allows for a pretty similar flight feel while still gaining a little bit of efficiency and then all in all i mean i was just really amazed at the results um, i got a solid minute and about 15 seconds extra of flight time with a 1000 milliamp battery 6s battery so that's pretty amazing um, what i like about this is it will allow me to use uh, a gopro hero 7 or 8 and add some extra weight to the quad and compensate by just upping my power output to like 70 or 72 percent um, instead of having a larger milliamp 4s battery so i feel like this is kind of the future where things might be headed it allows for a lot more flexibility and if you do it right you shouldn't really have any problems with desyncs or anything like that so now you guys know your your motors won't explode if you try this on falco um, and yeah, if you have any questions, let me know and see y'all next time.